Now, it's another wonderful thing to see a youth in the poultry industry. Now, many youths don't like poultry farming. Why? They say that it's very hectic. It's, it's nice, kind of like discouraging. Now, we have a wonderful youth there. He's, who's about to talk to us on the poultry industry? How many years he has been to the poultry industry? And what are the challenges? And what have what you been benefiting in the poultry industry? Please, I was your name and what did you for a living? Okay, uh, my name is Adi Biribu. I'm an animal science person. I've been into poetry even since my uni days, although into I mean small scale. So while I was in school, it was a bit better than what we are having now. Presently, going into poetry, if you don't have backing, if you don't have uh, real funds, you, you will run out of business fast. Because uh, the environment is no longer favorable for young people who have nobody to uh, bankroll them. Because uh, with your little savings here and there, you can't survive with this present economy. Everything is expensive. Is it the feed? Is it the materials to even uh, do the brooding? Talk of gas now, talk of charcoal, talk of uh, green carpet. Uh, even the feed now, even the bread are even expensive. And now, look, you will need helping hands too because uh, as you grow, you will expand. So pay people now, if there's no money, well, to do all these things, everything is on the high side. This is not a, I mean, it's a cry for help. It's a cry for government to actually help and uh, make things better. Policies that will favor the farmers because uh, agriculture is like, we, uh, we are talking about oil and everything, but agriculture is like. If you want to strike, if you want this nation to move forward, then you have to look into agriculture and make things easy for everybody. Because uh, we young folks, we also want to do agriculture. Why follow the business forthcoming for most of us? So that's why we are trying to get our hands dirty and do agriculture. But now, even the agriculture now, we can't even do it now because there's no money. So, government should please increase our policies that will favor and uh, start by uh, standard, uh, regulating the dollar. Whether you can import, you can do some other things with normal money and you like the stability in price too. You know how much you are getting this in it for the next one year. Whether you can plan ahead. Because now you get to market now, maybe they tell you a bag of feed is like maybe uh, 6,000 naira. That's for example, though. You get it in the evening, they tell you this is 10,000 naira. Where is the 4,000 coming from? So please let them help us regulate this thing. Back. I think with that, um, people choice price. Thank you. <laughs> I'm short of words. The future is bright and agriculture is life. So, so, how many years have you been doing what you From school, I did like five, six years in school, so I've been doing it small, 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 small. And uh, now that I'm out of school, I, I still want to go, I mean, go bigger and cheaper. But now, uh, I am I'm still hoping and praying that God shine his light and we get more money and go into it full, full time. So basically now, what are your challenges in the protein industry? What are the main challenges you are facing the protein industry? It's just your stable price and uh, skyrocketing. Uh, on stable price, that's number one. Then the things keep going uh, more expensive day by day, day by day. And uh, due to this uh, increase in petrol, now it has affected so many things. It's a ripple effect whereby uh, you buy this, they tell you the, the petrol is expensive, you use money to bring it down here, and uh, they will increase the price. Like, ah, this thing is not supposed to be like because not, nothing you can do because that is also what they are getting. That is what they are getting because petrol is a, is a major factor. We don't have light, there's no light. If you want to do electric brooding now, you have to go and look for generator, you buy fuel, so it is added costing almost every year. So they should, they should look at these things, make the economy fine, give us light, they standardize everything, petrol, bring it, bring it down, increase minimum wage, and all these things. Yeah, everybody will be happy. <laughs> I still can't talk though, but the fact that is, is that Youths in the poultry farming are hard working. As you can see, he's very intelligent and smart. He knows what he's doing. But the complaint has been there. High price of feed, the high cost of living among rural poultry farmers. So the fact now is, let the federal government come to the aid of these poultry farmers. We have people who are who are who are eager 
who are eager, dogging hard to bring people to farming. But due to the challenges, especially the challenges in feed, the high price of feed that's affected most of these poultry farmers. And most of them are shutting down their farm. It's bad, it's bad. Now how will they survive? That's the question. How will these poultry farmers survive when there is no form to purchase the feed they want to purchase for their day OT? Now everything is, according to him, said everything is expensive. The day OT is expensive. The feed is expensive. The materials you need for building are expensive. So please, federal government, come to the aid of these poultry farmers. And I believe that they will skyrocket higher. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.